Ariel Hawani in Las Vegas alongside Donald Cowboy Cerrone who faces KJ Noon Saturday night at UFC 160. And Donald, I must say you are very tan today. Is this uh, natural or artificial tanning? It's uh, artificial. Mm. Yeah. Strike me as that, that kind of guy, the, the tanning bed type. They were running a special tanning bed by my house, so I had to take up on it, yeah. Don't you live on a farm somewhere? <laughs> so it's not artificial? Not artificial, no. Are you training outside? On the lake, yeah. I do a lot of lake time. But actual training time? Yeah, that's training, mine. Strengthening my mind. How much actual training time do you do as opposed to lake time? Which gets more time? It's probably 50-50, maybe. Really? Is yeah. that smart for a fighter? Probably not. Probably not. I heard your girlfriend tells you don't go to the gym, stay with me on the lake. Is that true? Yeah, she, said, don't, she says don't train and we should just hang out here on the lake. And I say, okay. That's not a supportive girlfriend. Doesn't she know what, what brings home the bacon? She brings home the bacon, she's gonna be a doctor. So I just oh. tell her, you know what baby, I'll stay here on the lake, keep it running, you go get that doctorate, so we'll be all right. So you're one of those guys who likes that the woman is the breadwinner and you just kind of reap the benefits. Got no problem with it, none. Now, are you still doing all that sort of uh, risky business stuff? Because I heard you fell like 40 feet. You almost left us, right? Uh, you couldn't have done that. Nah, I couldn't have left you. How would I miss these interviews? Yeah. I mean, shit. Uh, Aren't you happy you're here? Because sometimes they bring you, sometimes they don't bring you. I'm happy you're here. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm back on the, I get to see you. I mean, that's, yeah. the, that's the most important part of my, the, I was like, where, where are you today? And you finally came. You had, you had more important guys to get a hold of, but. I'm glad I'm on the end of your list. It's all right. Pecking order. Pecking order. That's right. That's right. But no, really, what happened when you fell? Uh, just a rock climb. I mean, well, the funny thing is, you know, you ask, do I wakeboard? Do I rock climb? Yes, I do. And I've always done that. It's just now I guess I'm getting more popular as a fighter and more people are paying more attention. So back in the WC days and back in the Ring of Fire days, I used to do all these same crazy activities. It just wasn't a big deal. But now it's like, oh, man, you're out rock climbing? Oh, shit. Like, well, yeah, I've been rock climbing. So... Um, but you never had a serious accident no, like that. I have. I actually broke my back when I was young. Rock climbing fell real far and snapped my back. But uh, it's besides the point. And uh, yeah, it sucked and it happens. You know, probably be more careful. But should I only focus on fighting? I, I guess I should. But that, you know, that's not who I am. I would take away from you know. Should I not ride my horses because of fighting? I don't know, man. It's just what I do. And, and unfortunately, you asked, do I train? Yeah, I train my ass off. That's what I do. I mean, I, every day I train. Do I go to the lake? Yeah, I go to the lake on the weekends. That's where I, that's where I vent. Other guys sit at home and watch TV and play Xbox. I go to the lake. That's just what I do. After the fight, though, you tweeted to Dana saying you're done doing that stuff. Does that mean were you lying? No, I told Dana I won't be any, I won't doing any rock climbing. I'm still. I mean, just because I go on a boat doesn't mean I'm out there. Right. Right. But no more rock climbing. Uh, while well, I'm in fight camps. Oh, it sounded from the tweet that you were done with it altogether. I'm done with it in, during fight camps. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I, I love rock climbing. I love hiking. I love mountaineering. I mean, these are all things that I, that I enjoy doing. So uh, I will continue to do them. So. When I spoke to you in December, you said you were going to try to be a professional wakeboarder. Is that still the plan? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, going professional, those guys are so it, – it'd be like me here at 30 years old saying, I want to be a professional MMA fighter. And, and you'd be like, well, you're kind of 30. You might want to – you know, so – like going pro and competing at a very low level, sure, I could probably do that. But meeting those top guys, no way. They're, they're 16, 17 year olds doing shit that I can't even dream about doing. So, uh, you know, it's more, more just talk than it is anything. But yeah, competing, sure, absolutely. When would that start for you? Uh, maybe this summer I might be able to catch something. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm okay. I'm not great, but it's something that I love to do, you know. Can you make money doing that? Not me. <laughs> You're not that. No, I'm not that elite. No, absolutely not. Let's talk about KJ okay. making his debut on Saturday, fought another organization, striker like you. Do you like this matchup? I'm 100 percent. This is um, stylistically a great fight. You know, he comes in, great boxer, great traditional boxer, pushes forward, and uh, this has fight of the night written all over it. I saw him say that he doesn't think you're going to stand with him. Do you think he's trying to play mind games with you? I haven't heard, read, or done anything. I just know what I'm going to do, and I'm going to stand and fight him. No takedowns. <laughs> I'm going to stand and fight. That's what I do. What happened against Anthony? I got kicked in the liver, man. That's what happened. Mentally, were you there, though? Uh, you know, mentally, that's questionable. But uh, physically, and you know, I was ready for that fight. He just got a lucky shot, man. And I shouldn't say lucky because he threw it and he knew exactly what he was doing. So it was a great shot. Why is it questionable mentally if you were there? It's just I was going through a lot of things mentally in my mind. You know, all the preparation was there. But, like, actually, like, narrowing it down to am I ready to myself, I was questioning. There's some things I was questioning, you know. So I just need to lock that down and figure that out. Now you're working with someone to try to figure this out, right? Absolutely. His name's Brian Kane. Yeah, just working on 
what do I do in the gym every day to, to, to bring to the cage. Have you noticed that he's helped you? Absolutely, yeah. Really? yeah. Who recommended him to you? Uh, George St. Pierre. Familiar, I, I knew the name. So, so you think that this guy has figured it out for you, that, that now you're not dealing with those mental issues? Uh, we're working on it. I don't know if he just had the answer. I took the, pi the perfect pill and I'm ready to go. No, but uh, am I working in that direction? Yes. I look forward to seeing this fight. It's good to see you and your 10. I'm not really used to you. Whoa, that's a gun show here. You got to pan out for that. Thank you very much, Donald. Good luck on Saturday. Yes, sir. Thank you.